Oh, okay. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, what we're going to do is hold on. And, uh, so basically, when we're looking at this, ladies and gentlemen, we need to identify. And if you guys have trouble, like we did in standard form, you know, identify your A, H, and your K. So if you're having trouble, and I think maybe you guys are first getting started out, this might be a good idea for you guys, is to identify what A is, what H is, and what K is. And if you guys remember for standard form, Kelsey, that's exactly what we did. But we did that for A, B, and C, right? So in this case, I'm going to identify my A as negative 1. My, K, and my H as 3, and my K as 2. All right. Again, the majority of the mistakes come in saying, why is that not negative 3, right? Is that your question? No, I don't know where you got the negative 1 from. Isn't it because of the coefficient right there? Remember, A is your coefficient, oh, okay. right? How would we know that on an EOC? Is it going to say coefficient? No. no. Oh. Coefficient represents your variable that's going to be in front. Um, or your term that's going to be in front. Now, or your number, I understand. That was for standard form. This is vertex form. Vertex form. So what's also important about this, guys, remember it's x. The negative sign we represent as opposite. So it's x opposite, no one, not now. x opposite of, of h. This is x opposite of 3. That means h is equal to 3. Okay. Majority of students, a lot of students will make their mistake and they'll say that's negative 3. So now I know my, so now that I've labeled everything, I can say my axis of symmetry is x equals 3. So to graph that, I go on my x axis and I go over to 3. Noah, stop. You said you weren't doing anything. Put that away. So x equals 3, I go to 3. All right, and I make my vertical line. Now, the next thing we need to do is identify the vertex. So when we identify the vertex, remember the vertex is h comma k, right? Yeah. So I identify the vertex as 3 comma 2. Yeah. So I'm going to go over 3 and up 2 units, 1, 2. Yeah. So now that is my vertex. Mm -hmm. So what you guys can see is from my parent graph that's over there, I've taken my old vertex at 0, 0, and I've translated the graph three units to the right and two units up. right? So H told us to shift the graph three units to the right, and K told us to shift the graph two units up. Now the next thing we need to do is identify, does the graph open up or does the graph open down? And that, actually is all based off the value of A. So again, we say that when A is less than 0, the graph is going to open down. I look here, my A is equal to negative 2. So therefore, I know, or negative 1, I know my graph is going to open down. I don't know the shape of the graph, but I know it's going to be opening down. Right? Mm -hmm. So now the next thing that's, that's kind of helpful is what I want you guys to understand is A is 1. right? The absolute value of A is 1. When you guys look over here, do I have any vertical stretch? Is it greater than 1 or less than 1? Is there any vertical or horizontal stretch or compression? No. no. So what that means is if you guys look at this parent graph, When you guys look at the parent graph, the shape of the graph is not going to be any skinnier or wider than this one. Do you guys agree with me? There's no stretching. I'm not stretching it. I'm not you know, stretching it this way. So the shape of the graph is going to look exactly like this. But what did I do? I shifted it three, use, three units to the right. I shift this graph two units up. And I reflect it so it's opening down. So I'm going to give you guys a tip. And we're going to go through another problem that is um, that we're not going to use this tip. But whenever you have an A that is equal to 1 or negative 1, you can use this tip. And the tip is, since the shape of this graph is going to be exactly the same shape of this graph, it's just translated, I can take how the relationship is of these points and just redraw it over here. So from the vertex to my next point, I just go over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1. Well, I'm not going up 1. I'm going down, because that's where my graph goes. So I'm just going to go over 1, down 1. Over one, down one. What? I'm just taking this graph and like reflecting it down. I think that's hard, but you were wrong. Huh? It's not even. Oh, I won't. Well, yeah. yeah. Now the next point 
is over to up four. Well, again, I'm not going up, I'm going down. So I'll go over two, down four. One, two, three, four. Over two, down four. And you guys can see now that my graph takes about the same shape as this graph. Do you guys see? I mean, it's fairly close, right? So they take the same shape, except now this graph, what, what is the difference between this graph and that graph? It shifted three units to the right, two units up, and it's been reflected down. And that's how you graph in vertex form. A lot less math, but you guys are able to identify um, the translations much easier.